Okay, guys. <laughs> I am not going to be on here long. Um, I'm on my lunch break. And I'm sorry I started off this word in tears. But it's just like tears of joy. I was watching this TikTok video and it was like this guy's portraying it's like himself and it's like Jesus you know and he was like basically talking about um <laughs> he was like I'm sorry basically I'm just gonna paraphrase this whole thing but he was like hey lord I'm back I'm sorry for being gone for so long and Jesus was like so excited and he was like son like you're back like he was excited like Jesus was excited you know and the guy was like you don't have to act excited like it's I've been gone for years you know but <laughs> Jesus was like son <laughs> your salvation has like just as soon as you gave your life to me you've um been forgiven for all of your sins for everything that i've done at the cross and i just thought that was just so beautiful because i feel like some people they feel like they're too far gone and they feel like they've messed up so much that god will never forgive them that god will just be like ashamed of them or um not really accept them back into the kingdom of God but that is a life in the pit of hell because Jesus loves us Jesus loves you Jesus loves me and it just makes him so ex yes he's excited he's happy for all of his sheep that run astray and they come back because guys he will leave the 99 for the one and so um Oh, God. <laughs> that was just so heartfelt. Like, that was just a heartfelt video. And people think, I really feel like some people think that God is mad at them or God's upset or God's not going to accept them back. But he will. He is waiting for you with arms opened wide just for you. Just for you. <laughs> and it just made me think like, I don't even know what I would do if I ever walked away from the Lord. You know, like I pray that I ever that I never do, you know. But the enemy will make us feel as if we're not saved. The enemy will make us feel as if God will not accept us back. The enemy would make us feel like God is mad at us. The enemy would make us feel like he is not for us, but he is against us. But that is a life in the pit of hell. God is for us if he can if, if God is for us who can be against us <laughs> God will never leave us nor forsake us that is what the word says that is what the word says God is true God is the same yesterday today and forever yesterday today and forever oh my gosh that was just like an amazing touching video and I just like I had to get on and just share that like guys I'm on lunch break so y'all see me in my work uniform and everything but oh, if you've walked away from the Lord if you've walked away from God and you feel like you are too far gone and he he's he's not mad at you he is madly madly in love with you guys waiting for us to just come to him he's just waiting for you whoever this word comes across i pray it comes across the right person lord at the right time in your divine timing because there is somebody who who thinks jesus is upset with them mad at them doesn't love them can't forgive them for mother for all of their sins but he did that at the cross um oh guys yeah I don't have long um today has been a day <laughs> I had a huge mm, I mean huge headache earlier I still have it I think it's coming back now because I was just crying but um um I was sharing on TikTok earlier guys t God is doing something with my TikTok guys I've only had TikTok for a couple of days and whoo glory be to God like he's really moving and I'm so thankful to him like I did not realize how much 
this Bible, my Thrive Bible, thank you, sister, for being obedient to God's voice on getting this Bible for me because it is touching the lives of others. It is literally God speaking to them, to whoever it is I'm reading it to. So, um, where was I going with that? I forgot where I was going. I lost my train of thought. Where was I going with that, God? I don't remember. My nose is already out. Um, I completely just lost my train of thought. I really don't know where I was going with that. But, um, oh yes, thank you, Lord. Um, I was, I woke up so feeling so weary, so tired. And, um, like, sorry guys. <laughs> like, no matter how much I sleep, it's like I'm still exhausted. I'm still tired. My head is still hurting. And so I went to go have breakfast with the, well, it was breakfast last lunch with God. And I was talking to a sister in Christ and I never really spoke to her, but we talked today and I just literally just, I had to lay it all out on what was on my heart to her. And, um, she poured into me as I was, you know, laying was on my heart and I can feel the difference. Like after that phone call, I could just feel her prayers that she lifted up to the Lord. I felt them. So I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I feel like I pour out, I pour out, pour, I pour out. And, and, and I need just as much people to pour into me as I'm pouring out to y'all. I don't mean to cry. I'm sorry. But, um. Um, she said something that I know God is going to do a something. I, I know that my grace is being lifted in my place of work in, in California period. Honestly, guys, I can just feel it. I, I feel such a huge shift. And, um, she was like, you know, God's going to do a great thing. He, it's going to be so big. It's going to be so big. And I was like, thank you. Like, I received that. Because I'm not, everyone's walk is different with God. But I'm not the only one going through this. Like, I'm not the only one who doesn't really have a home. I'm not the only one living out of my car. Um, it hasn't been easy. But I'm with the Lord. I walk with God. He's with me every single day. And... Um, I'm just glad and she was just kind of saying something about like having that discernment you know I'm glad that I have that discernment of like how I'm feeling like why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling and, like God's called me to quit my job before so I'll know I'll have that knowing of okay it's time to go you know um, oh, I'm just a whole huge wreck right now <laughs> I can't be on here long because I gotta go back to work eventually and, um, yeah, we have to pour into others as we're pouring out, guys. Um, keep me in prayer as I am praying for y'all, guys. Um, it, it's amazing how powerful prayer is to me. It's, it's just amazing. But, um, yeah, yeah, God's not mad at you. He's waiting for you with oh, arms open wide. Um, he's amazing. He's amazing. Let me see what the Lord has to say on this love letter. I'm just going to open up the word and let's see what God has to say. Um, on my TikTok, um, channel, I, um, I'm basically going through every single devotional. Like I start, I'm going to start from day one until it ends <laughs> I'm going straight through like day one day two day three do whatever um, I just felt led to like I was like let me just do that so that's what I'm doing but like on here I literally just open up the word and whatever I open up to is what I read so that's what I'm going to do right now so let's see <sighs> I just opened up to Ezekiel 43 and it says a responsive heart can be used by God
I know there's a love letter in Ezekiel. There's got to be a love letter here. Hold on, guys. I don't want to go back to work, guys. I don't want to go back to work. Mm. This is coming out of Ezekiel 36.25. Destroy all idols. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away and you will no longer worship idols. Beloved daughter, I have washed you and you are clean. I cleanse you of your sins and prepare you to follow me. I know... Mm. I know there are things in this world that you desire, but anything you desire more than me is an idol. These idols keep you from my goodness. Let go of the worldly idols you hold on to, because whatever you hold on to most tightly holds on to you. I have given you a future and a hope, but you must choose to live for me. I will search your heart and reveal to you what is in the way of my will for your life. Put me first and learn what it means to be close to me. Love your heavenly father. Reflection. God will wash away the idols that dirty our souls. If you're struggling to find closeness with God, it may be that you crave something more than his presence in your life. Let God help you and find the idols that may be hindering your relationship with him. Treasure of truth. Anything we desire more than God is an idol. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ugh, guys. I don't want to go back to work, but that was a whole word right there. Um... The first sentence, that first sentence, um, struck me because it made me think about before I gave my life to the Lord, he was already doing a work in me. He was already washing away my sins. He was already convicting me of my sins. He was already wooing me into relationship with him. Like I, I was already like not wanting those worldly things already before I, before I gave my life to the Lord. So God was already working in my heart. That's what he does if we have a receiving heart. So if there's anything that is above God, remove that idol, ask God to reveal it to you, and he surely will. Guys, these prophetic voices, they're a thing. Some people get on YouTube to get a prophetic voice every single day when they could just really get a prophetic word from the Lord. You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. But yeah. <sighs> Seek God with your whole heart. Seek God with your whole heart. There's something in the word. Seek, your, seek God with your whole heart. Oh, it's something about... Ooh, now I, I'm going to have to look for it. I, it's something like... I can't even think about it right now. Seek God with your whole heart. Something about... Holy Spirit, help me. Um, seek Him while He could be found. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what's coming to mind right now. What is that scripture? Ah, I gotta get the book. What is that scripture? See Kim. I don't even know what it's in, guys. I'll have to look it up later. But I gotta get back to work. I just, I don't know the, the verse or the scripture it's coming out of, but see God while he can be found. I'm just paraphrasing. But I have to get back to work. I just want to get on and release this. I was all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, that whole video just touched my heart. It just touched me so, like, so heavy. I was bawling, as you can tell. I started this word off bawling. But um, I love you guys. And I pray this word blesses y'all. Keep me in prayer. I'm praying for you guys. I pray. Mm, excuse me. That was very rude to me. I pray Psalm 9111 over y'all. I pray all against all the enemy's tactics. I pray against them in Jesus' name. I pray that we block all distractions in Jesus' name. I pray that whatever it is 
whew, that is hindering your walk with the Lord, that is hindering just seeking his face or even setting in his presence, I pray against all of those things in Jesus name. I pray that, um, I don't even know if that made sense. I pray against the tactics of the enemy that are, that are, um, not letting you get into God's presence, not letting you get into the word. That's what I mean when I just said that. I think I wasn't making sense. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up because I have to get back to work. But, um, yeah, y'all know what I mean, guys. My face is itching. Um, yeah, let's walk by faith and not by sight. Let's walk by faith and not by sight. I was all over the place, wasn't I? It's okay. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. I hope I made sense. I pray I made sense. But I have to get back to work. And everyone's taking their lunches early because apparently we're going to be by ourselves. And I'm going to be like, Lord Jesus, I'm going to need your help. So, yeah. Um... I love you guys, but God loves y'all so much more.